Hello and welcome to Tensar Ground Coffee, a few minutes on ground engineering to enjoy it while having your coffee. Well, we're still in Washington DC at the annual meeting of the TRB. But there's an interesting fact about Washington. Whether you've been here or seen photographs of it, you may have noticed that Washington DC doesn't have the tall buildings or the skyscrapers that you see in the other major cities in the US. So why is that? Well, that's actually due to a planning restriction a law restricting the height of buildings in Washington DC. That was introduced around about the turn of the 20th century, not only in Washington DC, but also in some other cities in the US, such as Chicago and Boston. Now, that restriction was introduced due to concerns about fighting fires in tall buildings and also structural integrity. But as the years went by, other cities repealed that uh, law, but in Washington DC, it stayed in place. So that is why, even today, you see, for example, over there, Brian, you see buildings of all around about the same height and uh, restricted and no taller than that. And that's given Washington this sort of uh, unique character. And now the law may never be repealed because a lot of people in Washington like the wide sunny streets uh, in Washington and, uh, and so on. So um, that gives Washington this uh, unique appearance, but it's also interesting from a ground engineering point of view because that puts more pressure to build basements. So I don't have the facts and figures, but I wouldn't mind betting that Washington DC is one of the highest densities of basements of any city. Because of that restriction on height means that you really need to go down if you want to create uh, more space in your building. So we found a, a basement here under construction in Washington DC. So this uh, provides uh, something to talk about regarding basements. Now, when you're building a basement in a city center, there's a lot of pressure to go as wide as possible to take up as much of the, the building, uh, the, the site area, and to go right up to the perimeter of the building. So that means you need to install your basement wall right at the edge of the boundary, as has been done here. But of course, that creates a lot of issues because a retaining wall, as you excavate in front of the retaining wall and you have the soil behind, the retaining wall will deflect and then you will start to get settlement of the ground uh, behind the wall. So you need to control that, otherwise that, uh, that settlement is going to cause distortion and damage to any buildings located behind here, also to any utilities or to other infrastructures such as uh, metro tunnels. So that means you need advanced analysis methods, soil structure interaction. So you need very good parameters for that. You need good input parameters for those models. So you need a very good site investigation. You need the advanced analysis. Uh, and you need the control measures to control movement of the wall. So in this example here, this is actually a Berliner or king post type of wall with the steel posts uh, going into what's probably drilled uh, shafts or piles uh, down below and to support the ground in between the king post you have the, uh, the uh, timber panels in between but you see with the green paint on the heads they've installed ground anchors to provide additional support to, uh, to the retaining wall to reduce that deflection that, that I was talking about and so reduce settlement of the ground behind. Interestingly, we've also got, as you see, a large crane uh, on tracks there. So that is on a working platform. So that's uh, something else that we've been talking about uh, in other episodes of Tensar Ground Coffee. So lots to see here from a geotechnical point of view. And of course, the other thing when you're constructing basements in a city center, monitoring is very important as well because there's always uncertainty in ground engineering so you need to check deflection of the wall uh, maybe do some surveys on the surrounding buildings and the ground as well to check that that's not moving too much okay i hope that gave you a useful overview of basements from what is perhaps the capital of basements in washington dc okay thanks for watching and see you next time